Okay, what we're looking at here is one of David Dick's Merv Pocket Money projects. It's the PMP21 and it's a dual LED flasher. It uh, has the optional transistor uh, up there in the left hand corner. And um, when the trigger line is taken to ground, it um, turns the circuit on and the two LEDs flash alternatively. So it's meant for level crossing uh, application. But uh, there's a couple of things that make this um, really useful, um, particularly for Queensland railway modelers, but um, for everybody more generally. And that's that the uh, 555 timer can source or sink about 200 milliamps of current. And um, the IC socket there, if you look at the third pin down on the left hand side, um, there's a horizontal um, path across there that uh, you can see the two 1K resistors joined to. That's the output line of the 555. And given it can source or sink 200 milliamps, um, and each LED only requires about 3 milliamps, we're looking at 60 odd LEDs you could run off this thing. Not only that, each of the LEDs is on or off alternatively, so that would be 60 LEDs you could run on and 60 run LEDs you could run off. Well, there is one other limiting factor in this circuit, and that's the, um, the transistor up there, I think is rated for about 100 milliamps. So you can swap that out easily enough for a 50 cent Australian component, um, a BC327, and you could get up to the full rated number of LEDs out of the 555. But um, I don't know what anyone would be modelling to need that many LEDs. Um, so there's a couple of things that make this uh, really interesting. That um, top left there, you can see the C marking is the collector for the transistor. And when that transistor is on, that line is high, uh, where LED 1 connects to the top leg of LED 1. Uh, the bottom line of LED 1 goes back to um, the output of the 555 via a 1K resistor. So that one will be turned on every time the 555 has its output low. The bottom LED is connected to the output line via a 1K resistor. Um, and it goes to ground, so that LED is turned on every time the output of the 5 timer is high. So, if we actually ran a wire off the end of that um, pin 3 line, and um, we wanted to run a lot of LEDs on a, on a crossing, we could put as many LEDs as we like, up to the limits, um, via 1K resistors, uh, high and low, to get what we need. But that collector line is also useful for Queensland Railway models because being um, high uh, only when the transistor is turned on it means we can run a lead if we need a lead on solid uh, from that collector line down to zero volts. We need a bit bigger resistor because uh, we've got 12 volts here instead of uh, what's coming out of the 555. But um, it means that we can run always on leads as well as uh, flashing leads. So let's have a look what I've got under this piece of paper. And bear with me while I sit down. Okay, this is actually Davy Dick's project right here. Um, I've built it slightly differently, um, so I can put screw connectors on there and fit everything on. Um, the uh, red and the black wires going in there are just the 12 volts um, coming into this circuit. In this case, it's actually a nine volt battery, but that's fine. The triple five's got quite a healthy range that it can run over. Uh, the uh, skinny red and blue. The skinny red is um, uh, connected to the collector output of the, well, the collector pin on the transistor. So that's the one that's on only when the transistor is turned on. So when the trigger is on. Uh, the trigger is the um, black wire at the lower part of the connector block. I've actually used a um, little cable it's meant for using on the board below. Um, and the green wire is the output of the triple five, so that's the line that actually flashes high and low. So if I get the, uh, the other end of that black wire that I was talking about, I'm going to try and hold an iPad steady and do this. And put it in there. Okay, so there's the triple five timer board, the PMP21 running exactly as it was intended. But down here, um, there's another two LEDs running off it. Um, so 
for instance, if I, I did that twice, I could have LEDs flashing on barriers both sides, but the, um, on the stands, both sides for crossing if I needed. Now in Queensland, um, our boom gates have um, a, red, a red light flashing on the boom, then a bit further down I have one flashing alternate to that, and then the end of it we have a still one, just like that. Um, so that would represent how you could model the, um, the lights on the boom itself. Uh, in Queensland, they're actually on the flashing ones and the, uh, I think the end one is actually on the end of the boom at the very extremity of it. But the other ones sit on top of the boom and you can, they're visible from both sides. So in that case, you'd probably use two little surface mount lids facing in both directions, but um, that's fine. You can see here that I've used 1K resistors for these leads here. The one that's always on off the collector, I've used a 2.2K resistor to get a similar brightness. Now, brightness is always a bit difficult to tell um, when you're doing a video because they don't quite show as you'd expect. But um, that's a demonstration for you that, um, yeah, this little project can do a lot more for you than you might have thought um, just reading up the doco. I hope some of you guys find this useful. Um, I thought it was worthwhile um, extrapolating on um, what the instructions uh, told you and indicated because there's a lot more this thing can do. Um, I think that's all. I did mention the BC327 um, swap out if you want to get more current, but I can't see anyone needing that. That's it, guys. Thanks.